We are now going to solve a system of three variables and three equations. And we're going to do this because we want you to see a different type of system. So, suppose we start with x minus y plus 2z equals minus 7. And minus 2x plus y minus 3z equals 5. And x minus 2y plus 3z equals 2. So here is our system. And we're going to again label these as 1, 2, and 3. And as I look at these, I notice already that my y's, my top two, are ready to go. And my bottom one doesn't need too much work from the second one before it's also ready to be eliminated. So we're going to take equation 1 and equation 2 and we're going to add those together. So we just copy equation 1, we copy equation 2, and we add. x minus 2x is minus x, minus y plus y, eliminated. 2z minus 3z is minus z, and minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2. So there's our equation 4. We've gotten rid of the y from it. Now for equation 3, we can leave it alone, but now we need to add 2 times equation 2. This way, our values will vanish. So we're going to take 2 times minus 2x and get minus 4x plus 2y minus 6z and 2 times 5 is 10. So now we add these together. x minus 4x is minus 3x. Minus 2y plus 2y goes away. 3z minus 6z is minus 3z and 2 plus 10 is 12. Here's equation 5. In fact, if you're careful, if you look at equation 5, notice that 3 goes into all of these. In fact, minus 3 goes into all of these. So we can divide by minus 3 and get x plus z equals minus 4. And let's use this as our equation 5 instead. Now, if you look at 4 and you look at 5, notice that they're already ready for elimination. If we add them together, the x's will go away. Don't need any more manipulation, which is another reason why I divided by 3. So we get minus x minus z equals minus 2. x plus z equals minus 4. We add these together. The x's go away. The z's go away, leaving a 0. But minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. Since 0 can't equal minus 6, we have in fact found an inconsistent system of three variables. So if your x's and your z's disappear on the second step, or if the y's and the z's, or if the x's and the y's, whichever variables you have left, if they vanish and they leave something that's not zero behind on the other side, it's an inconsistent system.